Hi. I'm yes. good. It's been a while since I've seen you. A few years, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has. Um, so I see I, the I, questions. I, I don't know I, if you... <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. Question. I briefed them in a few minutes ago. Them, I'm so but sorry. Everything looks great. Everything looks great. That's great. Okay, great. So I'm going to ask you actually nine questions from this, and then we're okay. going to take a question from the audience. Okay. <laughs> um, if it's not stupid. So uh, people don't ask stupid questions. Yeah. We're not going to ask stupid questions. But if you have a good question, <laughs> ask a good question. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ashley. Uh, first question is, what is your greatest um, accomplishment? I in think life? that would be I just bought my first house um, in August. Ooh. Um, that was like a life goal of mine and I finally achieved it. So that is, that is definitely like mm -hmm. a big girl pants, um, achievement. And, uh, what, is it like everything that you it's, wanted? Where, where no, is, it? is it? So I'm outside of it. Or are you outside? Oh yeah. Um, I wanted to gosh. get away from all the craziness. Wow. Um, and I'm so close enough to LA where I can come in for the day, but, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely. The energy out there is amazing. So. Yeah. Joshua, Joshua trees are mm -hmm. really and a great place yeah, to shoot beautiful. too. I hope you have some, I hope you have some shoots coming up. Uh, oh, thank you BRW for your badge. Okay. Um, number two. If you could change one thing about the world, yeah, there's so many be? things uh, I would want to change. Um, I w wish people weren't so power hungry. I think that would solve mm. a lot of issues. Yeah. You know, what's interesting too, is there is a quote and I feel like it's been attributed to like Abraham Lincoln, but that could not be true because you know how the internet likes to like attribute quotes yes. to various famous people and they never said it. But it's something, I can't remember the exact verbiage, but something along the lines of like, the true, you'll know a person like who they really are when you give them power. So power will either like bring out the best in somebody or it'll bring out the worst in somebody, but either way it will generally show that person yeah, for who I think they, that's they truly most are. definitely true. <laughs> Yeah. What's the biggest mistake you've made in your life and what did you learn? There's, from? there's a lot of those. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think one of the biggest mistakes was uh, I was like in a relationship and um, I was like lying and cheating. Um, and I learned so much from that. Um, and like just being true to myself, um, that's probably one of the bigger mistakes. I guess I, I made that mistake a lot in, in different relationships, but then once I finally figured it out and I've been living, you know, like non-monogamous and really living to what I want to do and what I need, um, I've been much happier, so. That's interesting. So do you think that you were trying to like put yourself in that box that, you know, I think most of us believe that like, you know, we should be in or that all human beings should be in that we should be monogamous and connected to one person. Cause I know that there are people who think that's the only way to live. And there's a lot of people who don't live that way and yeah. found that they're very happy. Yeah. I definitely feel like, way. because like growing up, it was like, you know, you go to a university, you get a nine to five, you get married, you have children, like that's the right track. And I have done the complete opposite. <laughs> um, and so like, that's just so hammered into your brain. And so like once I was exposed mm -hmm. to all these different types of relationships, I was like, whoa, like this is cool. And it just, I just identified with it a lot more. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been interesting for me because, you know, having this podcast and talking to so many different people, mm -hmm. non-monogamy comes up a lot. There's a lot of people who are practicing non-monogamy and are very happy in it. I am in a monogamous relationship um, that works for us, but I'm always like so curious to hear how other people handle their relationships. And I think it's really great that people are starting to be open and recognize mm -hmm. what works for them because everybody's yeah. different. What do you think? 
it like what's some of the challenges of having a non-monogamous relationship like do you have to yeah there's a lot of boundaries? challenges i mean there's boundaries um communication like you have to make sure you're on the same page um jealousy yeah i'm trying to think of i think those are like the major ones <laughs> Hmm. But you feel like you're being uh, successful with it now. Trying to, trying to. You're trying. working on it. Working on it. You're working yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in God or any form I of it? Don't. Um, I do believe, like obviously, you know, there's karma in the universe, and you know, energy. You know, believing in energy and stuff like that. So I guess I would be more of like a spiritual person. Um, but like, you know, there's a big man upstairs. No. Yeah. So do you believe in like a kind of grand design of the universe that yeah, you put out? I would agree with you? that. Do you think that, do you think that like our life is kind of mapped out the way it's supposed to be? Or do you think that the choices that we make can change our path? I think the choices that we make can change our path for sure because there's been many times in my life where like let's say I did like I got in my dream school right after high school if I went to that school my life would be completely different than what it was mm. but instead I stayed home went to like my community college and it eventually led me out to California so yeah it would yeah your path changes with your decisions do you ever have like regrets about, or do you ever wonder what life would have been like if you followed another path, or do you think that you followed the right one? Sorry, oh, yeah, I feel like no, I'm no, just no, projecting like my own thoughts to you. <laughs> no, These I, are things I, that I think I about do a lot. think about this a lot. Um, I mean, I am grateful for the path that I did take, um, but I, it, I'm always curious, like, well, what if I went to that school and I was living in New York? Like, what would my life have been like? But you know, who knows? Yeah. 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 That's the thing, right? <laughs> we'll never know. What is your greatest fear? Um my greatest fear this sounds so stupid. <laughs> it's okay. It can be anything from like spiders to like death. Like yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be super heavy. It can be, you know. Like Jenna Fox, <laughs> his greatest fear was geckos. So um, it's fine. <laughs> my greatest fear is the dark. So I'm okay. Kidding. Ever since yeah, it, you were ever since you were a kid, um, I assume. <laughs> I feel like yeah, I watched too many horror movies as a kid, and so like I'm mm. legit afraid of the dark. Like I always have like a nightlight on or some sort of like ambient light on. Um, I don't like going to the woods at night. Um, I'm literally mm -hmm. terrified. So, yeah. Do you watch, do you, I watch, do, uh, I like more now? like slasher films. Um, I can't watch anything okay. with like paranormal, like ghosts or demons or anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Do you believe in ghosts? I do you. Do you have a ghost so me experience? and my brother definitely thought our house was haunted growing up. Um, like our basement would never get warm. Like my dad put like a pellet stove down there. It like never got, got warm. Um, and we always thought mm. we would hear like footsteps in the hallway or on the stairs. And so I just, yeah. And like, just the, yeah, always I had that one feeling. experience. I didn't see anything. But I was staying in like uh, the basement of a church that my friends had bought. And the girl, she said she woke up in the middle of the night and she recorded it. She felt something race around the bed. And in the video, you see like a white blob just like go at like the bottom of the corner. And I was, thankfully I was leaving that day and I was like, oh, she like saged me before I left. And then I went, but I got like really <laughs> freaked out, so. Yeah. Yeah, I have a I have a crazy ghost story, but I'll I'll save that for another day. People are not here to hear my stories. 
Um, what mm. makes you happy? My dog. <laughs> um, she has been with me. So she's 12 now and I've had her since she was a puppy. Um, and she's been with me everywhere when I lived in a van and, you know, when I moved from Maryland to California, like we lived all over the place. Um, she was just always there. She's just my solid companion. She's a shepherd years. mix. What kind of dog is she? Oh, okay. Oh, I hear yeah. a shepherd mix. Yeah. She was awesome. Mm -hmm. Passed away a couple years yeah. ago. That I'm was, not looking really forward nice. to it. Uh, it? But she still has a lot of energy. Yeah. And she can still, like, get up and down yeah. off stuff. So I'm hoping a few more years. So. Yeah. That's the worst thing about having dogs mm -hmm. is that you're, like, you'll always outlive them. Sucks. So well, maybe next time get yourself a macaw because they like live. <laughs> and I think like turtles too, they last like, you know, live to like a hundred. <laughs> yes. 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 I actually went, to, I took mm -hmm. my daughter to the Moore Park Zoo yesterday and like Clarence the tortoise was having his hundred year birthday. They like brought him like a little like green like lettuce cake or something. It was fucking huge. I'm sure. Oh God, like. It was so nuts too because they showed this timeline of his life. They showed like when he was born, and then like two years after he was born, like the first like TV, like home TV set came out, and just like everything that happened in history since this like turtle, you know, has been alive. It's a tortoise, I would say. I think it was a tortoise or a turtle. I don't know. Yeah, Whatever the I'm big ones sure. are. I think they're tortoises. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. get yourself a macaw or a tortoise. <laughs> two very different animals that will totally outlive you. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like dogs. What has been the most surprising thing about your success um, in your career? I guess, well, I won two awards this past season. Um, and I, w mm -hmm. I was like hoping for, especially for the one, I was really hoping for it, but I wasn't like putting a lot of expectations. So I was really surprised when I won. Um, what, so what I were won the, the, um, the most outrageous sex scene for AVN. Um, I played Krampus. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I was like head. Wait, is that like yeah. the Christmas like monster? Yeah. I did it with Tommy Pistol, and I had really sharp teeth in the whole time. Um, it's a it's a really crazy scene. Um, wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait, yeah, is this Ricky Greenwood's movie? Oh my god! So, so I literally just wrapped a okay. movie with a uh, podcast with him. Like he left like five minutes. That's why I was kind of late. He left five minutes before I got on. Is this? Um, it's called the bargain. What's the name of the movie? It's called the. Yes. Oh my god! It's so weird. We were just talking about that movie. Yes. I. Oh my. And I remember seeing the clips for it, and like, that was oh. crazy looking. Because you're like, I mean, you're a very beautiful girl, and the way that they trans. Yeah. I was like, That's Ashley. That was nuts. It was what six was that hours in makeup the chair. job like? Um, but yeah, oh but it was God. awesome. Um, the guy Alex who was doing it did an amazing job. Um, yeah, it was definitely crazy. All the prosthetics and everything, and yeah, it was cool. Yeah, you, you guys, have, if whoever's watching, you guys got to go like Google it, find the trailer. Just you got to see like what they yeah. did with her. It was pretty nuts. So mm -hmm. six hours in the chair, like what was, and then finally you're like shooting the scene. Like how, how did that go? Did you just feel like your face no, was going to fall off throughout the whole thing? Um, I had never played like a creature before. So like Ricky and Tommy were kind of giving me some like <laughs> advice on kind of like how to move and like the grunts I should make and stuff. Um, which like I did and you know and then when you know the stuff was happening I was like trying to like remind myself like I'm a demon so what kind of sounds would demon make <laughs> so I'm like grunting yeah. and and like always in the illustrations you see Krampus stick um its tongue out like it has that really long tongue mm -hmm. so I kept <laughs> trying to mm -hmm. stick my tongue out during <laughs> I don't know know if I look stupid or not but I guess not so <laughs> I did I did you won an award for it so 
what is the one thing that you pe think people misunderstand about the industry that we work in the most? Oh, there's so much. Um, I think one of the things is like, some people just don't realize it's a fantasy over it being mm -hmm. like real. Um, and then they take that into their personal mm -hmm. life and it causes problems. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't realize, like, we're consenting adults. We talk about all our limits beforehand. Um, you know, we are very safe at our job. And so I find that a lot of people don't realize that. And I feel like more and more, pe like, there's getting, like, more, people are becoming more aware of that, which is nice. Um, I just mm -hmm. wish corporations and Visa MasterCard understood that as well because I yeah I have a problem like I want to make the content that I want to make and you know with their rules it's kind of hard not to so so it's very frustrating yeah yeah and there's very like specific things that they outlaw which are kind of crazy like there was actually there was a scene there was a set that they made me take down off of my website, which I was super bummed about. And it was just a solo. There was like nothing like crazy about it, but it was um, like a, a horror thrasher, um, slasher like uh, scene or like mm -hmm. inspired scene with Arya Lee, <clears throat> like, a, like a sexy like wife ax murderer. And so I had her like, and at the beginning it was just like, and it was just like a striptease and then like, you know, the, the whole, diddling part and I even wiped the blood yeah. off of her when she did the diddling part um she didn't use the axe on her or anything but just the fact that she like had blood on her at the beginning was like posing with this axe that we'll see now yeah like, because it's, it's like really cool it's very looking. frustrating but it but it's crazy because it's like if yeah. you do that in a mainstream Hollywood film it's totally fine it's just like yeah it's very yeah, yeah. very frustrating <laughs> yeah and like I said I like I took the blood off of her once we got to the sexual yeah. part but didn't matter. No. Did you, speaking of the Visa MasterCard thing, did you watch the Pornhub documentary on Netflix yet? Yeah. I just, Is it good? just watched it the other day. You know, you know, I mean, I know that there were a lot of people who said that, like, well, it was funny because a lot of people said, like, it was okay, which I feel like in our industry is like a compliment to a documentary because so often yeah. documentaries are so skewed one way that, like, most people are very upset with them so the fact that like everybody was like well it could have been better but like yeah. it was okay like that <laughs> the bar has been set so low for our expectations that like <laughs> you know that was good so but yeah i mean i thought it was good i thought it was fair in terms of like the document you know from the producer's point of view like obviously i know we would all love for a documentary to come out that was all like fluffy and like everything and porn is great and everything's wonderful but like you know as a respectable journalists and documentary sure. and you have to tell both sides of the story. Um, you can't just have all the good. So they had to interview, you know, like the president of Nicosi and stuff like that. Um, so, but I felt like it was fairly even handed. Like I felt like they gave the adult industry, um, you know, a lot of opportunities to respond to the accusations against us. And I mm -hmm. feel like they picked really good people to um, advocate for our industry. I think a lot of times in other documentaries, they'll go and they'll find like the one person who gets burned yeah. by porn or, you know what I mean? Is like really resentful and it was like, my experience was terrible, therefore everybody's experience is terrible. So I thought that it was it was fair in that Yeah, sense. I'll have to watch it. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. Okay, uh, so last question from me and then we'll take a question from the audience. Um, what do you think is the most important quality in another person? Probably that they're trustworthy. Because so much hmm. ties into that. Um, yeah. Yeah. If someone's trustworthy, I mean, you can communicate well, you can rely on them, um, you feel safe with them which is really important yeah. yeah on and off camera <laughs> yeah 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 that's what i would imagine that's a building block of a good mm -hmm. relationship for anybody right friendship or personal um 
you know, family, all of that is trust. I mean, if you can't trust the people yeah. that are closest to you, like what is there, you know? Okay. So I have one question for you. Do we, we don't know who said this, do we? The, the username, I have to give credit to whoever asked the question. I saw it pop up, but I don't know. Anyways, if you're still watching this, you'll know if you submitted the question. You can say it was me and I'll give you a shout out. Okay, uh, the question is, if you could spend time with someone living or dead, who would it be hmm. and why? Oh my goodness. Robert Bob, Bob okay. Ritchie asked that. Robert Bob Ritchie. Congratulations, <laughs> Robert Bob Ritchie. Um, oh, my, oh my God, there's just so, there's so many people. Who? I don't know. I actually don't know who I would choose. The, the person that's coming to mind is someone asked if I would do stuff, like if I had to do stuff with anyone, like, or alive who would it be <laughs> instead of chatting with them um and it would, i picked Jimi hendrix okay because interesting i think he's very interesting um obviously he has mm -hmm. amazing guitar skills um but he was just so creative and i would have just loved to just pick his brain so mm -hmm. i guess i guess i'm I'm gonna choose him, but maybe I'll he probably change my answer in like ten minutes. I'll be like, "Why did I say that?" <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. he's part of the Twenty Seven Club, right? It's, yeah, it's such a shame. I don't know actually much about him as a person. I do like obviously know his music. My dad actually loved Jimi Hendrix, so he used to play Jimi Hendrix all the time. Um. But I don't know much about him as like a person. I don't think anyone's ever done a biopic on him, have they? I don't know, actually. I don't know why they haven't. So. I feel like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It'll no. probably come. It'll probably come. Okay. okay, well, that's all I got. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. I tell you, yes, be thank you for having me. Dirty. Um, of course. Obviously, everybody knows yes. your Instagram because we're on your Instagram. Um, but you know what? Actually, I'm gonna post because I post these. I download them and post them on my YouTube channel too. So give give us all your uh, social shout outs. Your like Instagram, okay. your Twitter, yeah. like anything else you want to promote. Except for don't yes. don't give me your only well, fans because then Instagram. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean I have my. <laughs> but everyone knows she's got an OnlyFans. Just Google her um, name. I do and have the like my site AshleyLeanX. <laughs> Dot com, which has like all the links and stuff, but okay. Instagram is a oh, senior lane dot XOXO, and then Twitter's just Ashley Lean XXX, and that's it. So, and you just had to re you just had yes. to put your Instagram I had up again, two right? And they got deleted, and this is my third one. You know, when I was searching for you, somebody came up who like. Are they in like real estate it's or something? It's possible, like that? but there's also like a fitness person. Maybe it was. Oh, but it was oh, it was oh, you. It's yeah, like it, your I, face, but it was like, I was like, this this is not. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. I'm like, this is not Ashley. Um, it was like fi or it was like financial advice or something real yeah. weird. Not me, course, no, but. <laughs> Wait, oh, here we go, here we go, yes. Yes, this is you, uh, Ashley Lane XX. Not, this is, okay, sorry, this is not you. Everybody do not go to this account. Uh, it says that you're an expert in binary options. You're an investor and stockbroker. Nope, that's not me. I, I wish I was. I'd probably be making a lot more money. <laughs> it's, they have a lot of pictures of you up here. It's, a, it's, see, isn't that such a, Bullshit the way Instagram like this is this is the thing that is so infuriating about um, Instagram and why we always complain about like Instagram taking accounts down is that they will take down the legitimate accounts of the people, but they will yep. leave up the caption I, accounts and then people go to those caption accounts. They get scammed out of thousands yep. of dollars I've, and then I've they yell you about it. Countless and um, can't get them taken down. And it's it's like I don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very messed up system period. Okay. So
So everyone go to her official website, yeah, which is AshleyLaneX, AshleyLaneX.com. You, you will get the real links. Yes. Don't go to these Thank you sites. so much for having me. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes. It was a I pleasure, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. <laughs>